80 region years of experience, in fact, it's more than that if you count, Tassie. But when I think about, you know, so Queensland, New South, Fix, South Oz, you know, the four main trading states, and you look at, you know, the NEM's been running for 20 years now, four regions, that's 80 years of experience. From a reliability perspective, it's been stunningly good. Yes, we've had a few security events, but the security of supply is different from reliability of supply. The NEG will deal with reliability, but not security, and that's why that other framework's review is so important. So I'd say get the, get the security right. And I think, you know, the National Energy Guarantee, if I said to you all today, actually, the Commonwealth Government were joking, it's not really 26%, they are going to come out and say it's 45% next week. We'd all be probably, you know, everyone in this room would be feeling a lot better about it, right? But we conflate the, you know, the, the ambition of the target with the underlying framework. So when you sort of, if I tell you that actually it's all going to be good, it's going to be a really steep target, you'll feel a lot better about the framework. So the framework itself is pretty good. I mean, I think it's a good, it's a good, it's a good framework that's worth pursuing. Um, and, and I've got no doubt the money will flow. The one thing I can tell you, and I've been forecasting in this market now for, for 20 years, I used to, I set up a few of the trading floors that still operate in this market. Um, I was always wrong. I mean, I left a coal-fired generator in 2005 to go and join a gas generator because as far as the eye can see, gas-fired generation was absolutely going to dominate the horizon as the transitional fuel. And anyone in this room who was around in our industry in 2005 would have had that exact same conviction. Renewables was really expensive, gas was really cheap. And coal, and it, was, and it finally hit parity with coal uh, on a pound-for-pound -pound basis. And if you put in an emissions price in there, it was even better. But I was wrong. I was really wrong. I can't believe how cheap renewables are. And if I try and start planning a power system right now for 20 years' time, mark my words, I will be wrong because markets consistently, uh, sorry, planners consistently underestimate the innovation that happens in an industry like ours.